Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your November 2019 love reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. So let's see now Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what November 2019 holds for you with love. Now I'm going to take the Golden Tarot and put it behind Belief and Kindness. This is for your bonus reading at the end. And I'm going to put your Witchling cards and your Fairy Guidance cards off to the side. And then we are taking the Paulina Tarot, and this is the main deck that we are going to use. All these decks are linked in the description box below. So let's see now, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what November 2019 holds for you with love. Sagittarius, November 2019, love. Sagittarius, November 2019, Love. Sagittarius, November 2019. Love. Sagittarius, November 2019. Love. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Sagittarius, November 2019. Love. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me, clearly. Fantastic. That is where we are going to stop. At the center of everything is the lover's card. That's brilliant. Now, this is also a Gemini energy around you, but love is at your heart, so that is absolutely beautiful. Then you have the Six of Cups, which is very sweet. The Nine of Pentacles, prosperity, success. The Ace of Pentacles being handed a gift of prosperity. The Queen of Wands. A fire sign energy, which is, of course, you right here. Then we have the Ace of Wands. You're taking a gift of passion and of creativity, and you're moving forward. The Judgment card is also a Libra energy. So know that there's a very strong air sign presence here, a Gemini and a Libra. Gemini is a time frame of May 21st to June 20th. Libra is a time frame of September 23rd to October 22nd. So even though these time frames have passed, okay, it can be talking about 2020 for some, and it can also be that this time frame is going to be coming up for others of you. There's a sense here of, of looking at that time frame, something coming up from then. You have the Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, overwhelmed. The Queen of Cups, a water sign, energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. There's a strong queen presence within this reading. A strong feminine presence is around you, all right? But you're also going to be much more comfortable behind the scenes, not needing to be the actor upon the stage, the person everyone sees. sees. And then you have the Devil card, which is a strong Capricorn presence, okay? But you have strong emotions moving you forward during this time. Linked to childhood for some, most definitely. It can be linked to a love that you had imagined when you were little and that you felt kind of stuck from, questioning, you know, wondering if you're going to be able to move forward the way that you need to, the way that you want to. Let's see what your fairy guidance has to say. Sagittarius, love, November 2019. Sagittarius, love, November 2019. Sagittarius, love, November 2019. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Determination. And confidence. You're determined to move forward in love and you have the confidence to get you to where it is that you want to be, where it is that you need to be emotionally and personally. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Sagittarius, 2019, November, love. Sagittarius, November, 2019, love. Okay, your first card right here, which is confidence, but in the reverse position, so I'm just going to put it upright. So there is a questioning with confidence here. There is a sense of, you know, questioning yourself, not being as confident as you would like to be. And the last card, which is wellness, in the reverse position, you're not taking time to really look at what it is that you you need and what it is that you want. So know that those were reversed. I just put them upright here for the sake of having them upright. So knowing here that you are going to have a bit of difficulty with confidence and with taking care of yourself. So we have here confidence. And this says self-confidence opens you to the energy required to carry you through each day at your best. And so this is something that you're going to need to work on at this time. I'm not saying that you don't have confidence at all, but what I am saying is that there is something here that makes you question yourself. And it's really interesting because 
this reading is so good. But I think it is your emotional, and I don't think, I'm seeing here that it is the passion that is surrounding you, it's the the emotions that are surrounding you that are making you doubt yourself, that are making you second-guess yourself, where usually you wouldn't. So know that that energy is going to be around you. There is going to be a sense of heightened sensitivity coming to you. And as that heightened sensitivity comes, you're just going to feel like, oh my gosh, am I doing the right thing? Am I moving forward in the right way? Know, know that you are. Know that you are. And know that questioning is just part of November for you. It just is. The color that shines through here is blue. That's healing and cleansing your throat chakra, being very mindful of the words that you say to yourself. Also to others, but I really see this more as the conversations that you have with yourself. Then we have wellness. And this says, a healthy body, mind, and spirit thrive with a constant flow of balanced energy. There is something going to be off with the balance of energy at this time. And that's why you're questioning yourself. That's why you're looking at your wellness and you're thinking, oh, I don't really feel up to things like you usually would. So make sure that you're taking time for you. Make sure you're balancing your energy. Healing and cleansing your heart chakra is going to be so beneficial at this time because so much of your heart is at is on display that healing and cleansing your heart chakra really does empower you and it really does help you move forward because you're determined to have the November that you want. This says determination is a passion of pursuit, leading you on a path to personal achievement because you are achieving great things. You are passionate about this achievement. And there is right here a sparrow on her shoulder, which is my absolute favorite bird in the world. And what I love about them is they're so unassuming, but so powerful. A, a flock of sparrows can take down an eagle. They work together. And that's what I'm seeing here. You have people around you that are working with you. Right? And it can be that you're connecting with somebody who works with you brilliantly, but it can also be for a lot of you Sagittarians, where if you're saying, you know, Dane, I don't have that support group around me, I don't have those people around me, your angels are right there with you. Really take advantage of that. Lean on your angels. And you might be saying, how do I lean on my angels? It's that you listen to your inner, your inner guide, your intuition, your, your sense of higher self, and you really look at your passion, your desire, and the way that you want to move forward. There is a power to you. And here you have confidence in the upright position. So you are going to have a bit of a, you know, kind of run in with confidence. You can't have somebody who really makes you second guess yourself. You could have really liked this person too and thought, oh my gosh, you know, we get on so well. This, things are going to be marvelous. But something about them makes your confidence waver, make you feel out of balance with yourself. You can be pushing yourself too hard. This says confidence is having, in, having the belief in yourself to keep going and the self-assurance to get you there. Don't give up on you. Don't give up because there's going to be something that happens in November that really makes you question yourself, that really makes you question you as you're moving forward. Don't don't give up on you because at your heart is love. You have the Minor Arcana Lovers card. You have not the Minor Arcana. You have the Major Arcana Lovers card right here. The Lovers. Just intertwine with love. Embracing love. Embrace, embracing your power. Embracing your truth. Falling into love. And letting love surround you. That's where your heart is. Your heart is, you are a hopeless romantic in November. You are a hopeless romantic, and it so pays off. Capricorn, not Capricorn, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. All right, you do have a Capricorn energy right here. Now, why I said Capricorn, it can be that for a lot of you, you have the lovers and the devil. You know, you can be that you're falling in love with a, a Capricorn energy. This is a Gemini energy. This is a Capricorn energy. There is a sense here of power, of love, and of truth guiding you forward. But your emotions are going to be high. And addictions can be coming up at this time. It can be that you're also, you could fall in love with somebody who has demons in their past, all right? And you might not feel comfortable with it. So know that that might be something that needs to be worked through. And that could be a very specific message for a very specific Sagittarius. Because here, you just have love at your center. And the Queen of Cups is right there. So it can make you blind to a bit of things. It can make you blind to a bit of things, Sagittarius. As you are falling in love, as you're embracing love, as you're embracing what you want, okay? As you're opening your heart and your soul and yourself. Love is at the center. Water sign, energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Right? Here is the Gemini. So you have a lot of people coming around you. And this could also be where the confidence wavers. You have a lot of people around you and you might be thinking, you know, who's the right one for me? And I hate it when people say you will just know. But there is going to be an ease to the person that you are meant to be with. It's kind of like it might not be easy all the time, but you can have those conversations. You can have that comfort with you, with this person. And that's going to be absolutely beautiful, absolutely brilliant for you. So here with the Queen of Cups, there is a sense of your heart being on display, yes, but it's going to be behind the scenes. It's not up for everybody to see. This is part of your truth and your soul and yourself. And so your heart is really going to be guiding you forward during this time. What you want, what you love, listen to your heart. Here, Sagittarius. Because it might feel as if 
Capricorn presence around you. I don't know why that is. I keep on being drawn to that. It just in my mind's eye, I keep on seeing Capricorn. Okay? It's kind of like you have that sensibility about you, but now that you're opening up your heart and your passion in yourself, and you're opening yourself up to what you love, that sensibility is falling away, and it's kind of like it was a shield. So it can be addictions were a shield for some. You know, nobody likes, nobody likes to hear that, but it can be. It can be the truth. You've been through a lot, and it can be that you had an escape. All right, Sagittarius. And now you are embracing what you love. You are embracing your prosperity, your truth, your judgment. You're looking at what your heart desires. And you're falling away from addictions. All right, as you embrace passion. But also know, because passion is so high, and your emotions are so high at this time, that there can be a little bit of, of a hiccup along the way. All right? I'm not saying that there is. I'm not taking you by eyes or anything like that. What I'm saying is just be very mindful. Because addictions can fall into the realm of drugs and sex and alcohol and overeating and everything like that. But they can also fall into the realm of people-pleasing and giving up on yourself. You know, of putting everybody else before you because Sagittarius, yes, that is something that you do. You want to make everybody feel so comfortable. You want to look in the truth of everybody. You want to be so fair that you can ignore you in order to give to them. So just know that. Just know that at this time. Or surrounding yourself with people, surrounding yourself with things and ideas and, and chatter and not taking care of yourself. That can also be an addiction because there, it has to do with your wellness. It has to do with your own personal power because here you have the Six of Cups. And I love this because the woman is giving to the child. The mermaid is giving to the merboy. The Six of Cups has to do with childhood. It has to do with what you love and how you grew up and what you desire and what has made you, you. And for a lot of you Sagittarians, you're going to be looking at that. What has made you, you? What do you want? Where do you want to be? How do you want to move forward? So questioning is going to come up. You know, can I have the life that I want? Am I going to be able to be where I want to be? Because you have this with the, with the Eight of Swords. You see here how she's blindfolded and she's, you know, tied up. You have the swords around her. She doesn't know how to move without getting snagged. And her dress is going to get caught on those swords no matter what. It's not a bad thing. You know, it's not going to do anything more than rip her dress. But it can feel like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get through this. No harm is coming to you. But what I see is that something from your past is coming up and it's paralyzing you. Now this could be from your childhood, of course, but this could also be from past lives. Questioning, doubts, fears, apprehensions. You know, how do I move forward to the place that I need to be body, mind, and spirit? And you feel trapped. But I want you to know you're not trapped. Because here you have the essence of you shining through. Sagittarius, you have the queen of wands. You are coming through as a queen. Okay? You are represented by the wands in the major arcana, in the minor arcana, by the temperance card in the major arcana. You come through as a queen. You are going to be more comfortable in November behind the scenes, especially when it comes to your passion. You don't want everything on display. You will not feel very comfortable with somebody who wants everything on display. You're very grounded on the earthly plane. This is you and a connection with a Capricorn. So that can be why Capricorn is coming up so much in my mind's eye in this reading. Okay, strong connection. You also have you linked to a Gemini. This can be a connection, of course, to a Gemini, but a duality of purpose, a duality of self, falling in love with two parts of a person. Because so much of love, and I know it's going to sound a bit silly, but so much of love is just a sense of, we have in our, okay, so what Spirit is saying is that you have in your mind's eye your perfect partner. And you're not going to meet your perfect partner. Because what you have in your mind's eye is not obtainable to another person. Okay, because they have, there's too much expectation there. Here is you being really grounded in truth. Grounded in your ideas and what it is that you want. But it's also you being terribly realistic. And that realism is going to kind of sell yourself short. So there's going to be a balance here that's needed between realism and selling yourself short. Between realism and giving up on your dreams. Because you're determined to move forward in both. And you're going to have this pull that makes you question, that makes you look at things, that makes you feel overwhelmed. right? And then you're handed this gift of the Ace of Wands. Now, the Capricorn energy is a time frame of December 22nd to January 19th, right? 
So know that about the Capricorn, about the Devil card. Then you have the Ace of Wands. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine universe, handing you a gift of passion, of creativity, sexual and sensual energy as you are moving forward. So in love, you're going to be getting this gift. It can be overpowering. Do not let it overpower you. Because then you're having this gift of the Ace of Pentacles. Now you're taking this gift of the Ace of Wands, correlating with your Queen of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles isn't taken yet. Right? Unless it does come up in your subconscious message card. But it isn't taken yet. But it is felt throughout this whole entire reading. There's a practicality. There's a gift of prosperity, abundance. There's a sense here of creation around you. Right? And that can lead to an intoxicating energy around you at this time. Just a sense of headiness. Just a sense of, you know, feeling, feeling like you can conquer it all. But you're also going to give away too much because there isn't going to be that radar there to kind of pull you in and settle you down. These two divine gifts, one of passion, one of creation, lead you to the queen of cups of love. The devil card, indulgence, overindulgence, you know, the darkness, yeah, the kind of the darkness before the dawn, the sense of breaking chains of what everybody else wants and really looking at what you desire, where you want to be, not being snared by, by the trap of more and more and more that this world is all about. Then you have the judgment card. Oh my gosh, did I say the, this, the justice card is a Libra? The judgment card is not a Libra at all. So I do apologize about that. The judgment card is talking about here about you being judged, okay, by the divine, by yourself. And then you have the nine of pentacles, prosperity, abundance, success. It's not being judged and being found wanting. It's being judged and embracing your truth and embracing your prosperity and finding out where you stand and looking at what you want and seeing it for what it is, your life, your truth, and not giving that truth away to anybody else. As you move forward, it makes you feel overwhelmed. It makes you doubt yourself. It makes you question because the Nine of Pentacles is saying, here, you can have it all. You can. You can be happy. You can be joyous. You're coming to the completion of a cycle when it comes to prosperity. You are going to start living in the success that you want and the bounty that you want and sharing it with those that you love. But there's a fear here that's going to come up, that's going to want to hold you back, that's going to have your confidence waver. You have the Queen of Cups. It's around your heart. And you don't want your heart to be seen. You don't want it to be, you know, on display for all. And it's not going to be. But what I'm drawn to is this line of fish right here that are moving forward. If you see that right at the center, right here. You're moving forward. You are moving forward and you are embracing what you love. You are swimming towards your goals. You are embracing your heart and your truth. And so, Sagittarius, how do you embrace your heart and your truth and move forward in love? How do you embrace your heart and your truth and move forward in love with confidence? How does Sagittarius embrace their heart and their truth and move forward in confidence, in love? Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. We have here the King of Swords. This is an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. Right? And I love that it's going right over the Gemini right here. So the King of Swords, just this strong sense of knowing your mind, of knowing what it is that you love, the duality of self. Expectations, yes, but cutting through doubts and fears and speaking your truth. Then you have the Knight of Wands, which is you moving slowly and steadily forward towards where it is that you want to be, towards what it is that you desire. You have the Hierophant here, which is a Taurus energy, a time frame of April 20th to May 20th. Embracing your truth living in your traditions, living in your power, knowing what it is that you desire, not being held back, right? There's a sense here of not giving up on you. There's also a sense here of wanting commitment within a relationship, right? If somebody isn't willing to commit with you or to you, you know, you might not need that piece of paper. You know, you might not need marriage, but there's a sense here of a needing of commitment. This is also the marriage card in the major arcana. So know here 
that that can very well be the case, and it's above the Ace of Pentacles and the above the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So prosperity, success, abundance, a gift being handed to you. And then you have the Hierophant, which is represented by the Pentacles in the Minor Arcana. This success, this truth, this bounty, this sense of self, this sense of justice, right, is guiding you forward. And you have the Nine of Swords doubting it. Doubting that you'll ever get to the where you want to be, feeling overwhelmed, questioning yourself, questioning others, questioning your decisions. This is where your confidence wavers. It wavers over you. Okay, are you making the wrong decision? You're not. You're not. Because you're moving forward with the Page of Cups. This is the being a student of love, a water sign energy, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. Moving towards what you love, listening to the wisdom being given to you, being a student of your heart. Okay, the fish is is telling secrets. I know that might sound funny, but there are secrets that are coming your way. Truths that are being revealed. The Seven of Wands is saying, this isn't a battle that you need to fight, but this is also saying, don't roll over and play, play dead. You're finding a balance. And as you embrace that balance, as you embrace that truth, you embrace the truth of you. You embrace the prosperity of you. Your subconscious message is the world. The world is opening up to you. Love is opening up to you. Right? And you are finding that it's at your core, at your center, that the world opens up. You're going to feel something unlock within you. And love is a definite. Okay? It is part of your truth. And as you embrace this love, as you embrace this truth, the world opens up to you in a way that you hadn't anticipated, you hadn't suspected. But that is profoundly powerful. All right, Sagittarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. It is always a pleasure reading for you. Bye.